Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I am coming to you with my weekly reading plans for week number 32. This is going to be August the 8th through the 14th, so this starts this coming Monday and runs through the following Sunday. So this will be my next vlog. So I have a vlog that will be going up on the 8th and then this will be for the vlog that starts on the 8th. Makes sense, right? So I love doing these videos because I love TBRs. I love putting together TBRs to be red piles. And I like really taking my big TBR for the whole month and breaking it down into a much smaller, more manageable weekly TBR. When I say smaller, that's relatively speaking, because <laughs> I think there's going to be 10 books on my TBR for the week. Um, will I get to all of them? Probably not, but I like having them all there as choices, essentially. So I'm actually doing really well for this week, uh, the week that we are currently in. I have, I think I didn't share them all with you, but I had nine books and I have finished more than half of them. And I'm actually, or not more than half of them, I've finished around half of them and it's Thursday. So it's Thursday morning at the time that I'm actually filming this. So I still have like three full days, like, and two of those days are a weekend. So a lot of audio listening, which is uh, the norm for me. And I love that. So anyway, let me share with you my reading plans for this coming week. And as usual, of course, we're going to spin the TBR machine wheel and we're going to pick um, a random book. So let's jump into the plans. So first of all, from my TBR mug, these are all books that are being released in the month of August. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about getting to them. So let's pull two out of the mug. So let me just shake it up. So there is one in here. If I get it, I'm going to put it back because it's not being released until later in the month. And I do have a copy of it coming on audio. So let's just have a look here at our first pick. And that is Mr. Perfect on paper. This is coming out on the 9th of August. I'll put it over here because I'll put the cover up here. But I do have this one on pre-order um, on audio. So it will be coming out on the Tuesday. That works out perfectly. Very excited about that one. And the other one, that is the one about the girl. Uh, that's by the author of The Matzo Ball. Um, uh, Jean Meltzer, I think is the author's name. So yeah, it's about a Jewish woman who puts together a list for the perfect Jewish husband. And the man she meets is none of the things on the list, including Jewish. <laughs> so I'm really excited about reading that. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And the other one is uh, The Shimmer on Water. And this one is not available on audio, but that is okay. I am looking forward to it. This is a dual timeline in the 90s to modern day, a couple generations. That's my jam. I love that kind of thing. So I am looking forward to that one. So that is fantastic. Okay. So the next thing we have here is the throwback book. These are quick, easy little reads and I'll be reading another Sweet Valley High and that is Kidnapped by Francine Pascal. I believe this is book 13. This is where the series starts on Kindle Unlimited. So for those of you who have a Kindle Unlimited subscription and if you're interested in reading the Sweet Valley High series, the first 12 books you do have to buy. They're $2.99 a piece. So it's not like it's a huge amount of money that you're out. But in reality, it depends like, do you want to spend that or not? Because I don't know about you guys, but if I just sit with one of these books, I can probably finish it in less than an hour. But if you think about it, $4 for or $3 for like an hour's worth of entertainment is, is not that bad. Think about how much a movie costs. And I mean, you're spending $20 to go to a movie and that's like two to three hours of entertainment, right? So that's the, that's how I justify it. But yeah, this is where the series begins on Kindle Unlimited. So now with my monthly subscription to KU, I can read all these essentially for free in a way. And in this one, Elizabeth is kidnapped by a guy that she... So she's right now at the series because these do have a continuity to them that the story prior gives you information about this book in a way that she has been volunteering at the hospital and this other man who's an orderly, he kidnaps her and that's the plot of this one. So I am looking forward to it. It's, it's from what I remember, I enjoyed it when I was younger. So now let's get into the TBR machine. So this is a website and it was created by a fellow um, YouTuber, booktuber. And uh, there's a whole bunch of prompts. So what I'm going to do is share my screen and we are going to choose a prompt. Let's hit randomize and pick a new challenge for this week. Read a book released in 2018. 2018. All right, friends, 
let's have a look and see if I can come up with anything. Okay, friends, so sorry about the weird lighting. I found a book. I'm very excited. We have Welcome to Moonlight Harbor by Sheila Roberts. This is the first book in the Moonlight Harbor series. Publication date of May of 2018. So I have a later book in the series from NetGalley to read, so I'm very excited to get to this one so I can start this series so I can get up to the one that I have from NetGalley eventually. But anyway, yay. So there is the um, throwback pick. So let's go ahead and close the laptop and continue on with the rest of the books on my list. So next up, my Harlequin book pick for the week is going to be Her Kind of Hero by Janice Carter. Um, this is a standalone novel. It is a Harlequin heartwarming novel. I really like these. I am looking forward to getting to it. My serious about series book pick that I have for this week is The U Ugly Duchess by Eloisa James. Um, this is, I think, the fourth book in the Fairy Tales series, uh, which is all Regency retellings of fairy tales. And this one is clearly the ugly duckling, I guess. So I am looking forward to it. I loved the first two books in this series. Not so much book number three was a real dud. So I am hoping for good things for this one and for the final book. So I'm looking forward to this one. And then for series books, I actually have picked two books. I'm working my way through the... Um, Amish Candy Shop series by Amanda Flower. Now, normally I wouldn't concern myself with the novellas, but I've read the other two novellas in this series and I, it leaves one. I'm like, I might as well read the one. It's available on audio. It's like an hour long. So I'm counting it as well. So the novella is Botched Butterscotch by Amanda Flower. So I'm going to get to this one first. I believe it's book 4.5 in the series. And then I'll move on to Marshmallow Malice, which is book number five. So that's my goal for the week for the series books. Now, the last two that I didn't share with you guys last week, but I am reading books that fit kind of these like little prompts that I have. And one is for Garb August. So I'm participating in Garb August hosted by Ollie over at Criminali and a bunch of other booktubers. I did a video earlier this week of all the books that I had picked for that. And I picked one book at random to read for this week. And that's going to be Colton's Killer Pursuit by the great Tara Taylor Quinn. And in no way am I saying that this is a garbage book. I think that this book is going to be absolutely fabulous, but it fits the prompt for Garb August, which is to read a book in a series that has more than 100 entries. So this is book like 127 in the Colton series from Harlequin. So yeah, I am very much looking forward to reading this one. Um, I believe Tara herself sent this one to me. Um, or maybe I bought it. I can't remember. But anyway, so I'm very much looking forward to getting to that one. And last but not least, I have been utilizing my library digitally. There's a lot of books that I would love to read. Um, and I just put stuff on hold. And as stuff comes in, I will read it. And this one caught my eye. It's a thriller. I'm kind of in the mood for that. And um, my hold came in a day or so ago, so I will be getting to it next week. And that is The Couple at Number Nine by Claire Douglas, which I don't know anything about other than that it's a thriller and it's like a domestic psychological thriller about, I guess, some couple who lives at house number nine. And that's all I know, but the cover, it looks really good. So I'm looking forward to getting to this one and I do have it on audio from the library. So yay. So anyway, guys, that is it for this video today. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know what book are you going to read that was published in 2018 for this week's prompt. So post in the comment section below and let me know. And until next, uh, my next video, everybody take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye guys.